Okay, so I want to show you how to open a comma separated values um, file in Excel so that you don't lose all the information. Um, so I have this file in Excel where it has these huge ID numbers and I've saved them as text fields. And because I've saved this in Excel format, the .xlsx format, um, Excel remembers these are text fields. So if I close this file, it's called file with big numbers, and I open it again, magic, it looks perfectly good. But if I open the CSV, the comma separated value version of it, um, you'll see, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Let's shrink that and then make that bigger. There we go. You'll see the data looks funny, right? The ID numbers seem to have been interpreted in some sort of scientific notation. And that's good, no good for my purposes. So here's what you need to do um, if you want to get the, the original text file type format back. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say File, New, and I'm going to make a new blank workbook. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say file, oops, uh, data, from a text file, and I'm going to take in the file with big numbers dot CSV, and let's say import. And now it gives me a little import wizard. Um, and it says, is it delimited or fixed width? In other words, are there characters or are they fixed width? And this one happens to be a delimited one with commas. So make sure it says delimited. And I'll say it's delimited with a tab or a comma. In my case, it's just comma, but I don't mind tab or comma. Okay. And then I'm going to hit next. And this is the important part. Each of these fields that you have in your um, in your document right now is going to be labeled as a general field. But this field, I want to specify very carefully, this is going to be text. This is not a general field that Excel should try and interpret. It's just text. So the other ones I'll leave alone. I will say finish. And where do I want to put the data into the existing worksheet? Very good. And magic. Now, see I've got the original data back and it looks good and because I told it this was a text field it actually gave me the data I wanted